Unraveling, Captive for a Cause, Dive into its Meaning. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're diving into a unique phrase that you might have come across, captive for a cause. This intriguing expression holds a depth of meaning and significance in various contexts. If you're curious about what it means and how it can be used, you're in the right place. Let's embark on this linguistic journey together. The phrase, captive for a cause, combines two powerful words, captive, which means being held prisoner or confined, and cause, referring to a belief, movement, or aim that someone is willing to support or fight for. When these words come together, they paint a picture of someone who is metaphorically, or sometimes literally, imprisoned or restricted because of their dedication to a cause. This cause is so significant to them that they are willing to endure hardships or limitations. To better understand, captive for a cause, let's look at some examples where this phrase might be used. 1. Activism and protest. An activist might be described as captive for a cause if they are arrested during a peaceful protest. Their physical captivity highlights their commitment to their cause. 2. Personal sacrifice. Someone might feel captive in their current job because it funds their true passion, like starting a nonprofit organization. Here, the phrase symbolizes the personal constraints they endure for their cause. 3. Artistic expression. An artist might restrict their commercial potential, choosing to create art that serves a social or political cause. They're captive to their creative integrity and the message they wish to convey. The beauty of the phrase, captive for a cause, lies in its broad applicability and the positive light it can shed on sacrifice and dedication. It's a powerful expression that highlights the depth of someone's commitment to making a change or supporting a belief, often at a great personal cost. Understanding and using this phrase can add a layer of depth to conversations about social movements, personal sacrifices for higher goals, and the essence of human resilience and dedication. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, captive for a cause. We hope this discussion has illuminated its meaning and significance for you. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the stories and emotions those words convey. Captive for a cause is a beautiful example of how English can capture the complexities of human experience and commitment. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope this video has been enlightening. Stay curious and keep learning.